I remember in 2021 or 2020, I said that I wasn't really into makeup anymore and that was probably because we were in lockdown. Um, turns out, since the lockdown has ended, I am still into wearing makeup. So here's my everyday makeup. Also, I realized that I haven't been here in six months and like, it's life, okay? Sometimes you have to take steps back from certain things um, and focus on your mental health and that's all I can really share with you here. For my everyday makeup right now, I like to start off with a glow, something luminous, either a moisturizer that has shimmer in it or a primer that has some luminance in it. I've recently been trying the Smashbox one, it's pretty glowy, and then I like to pair it up with my NARS Light Reflecting Foundation, which is also a glowy product. I'm all about that glow, especially in the winter time. It's just so dry outside and my skin cannot be dealing with drying products on top of that. So I like to stick with something a little bit more shimmery, a little bit more oily, um, just to kind of compensate for the months. And so I also try to drink more water in the winter. I know you're supposed to be drinking water all the time, but... For my concealer, Tried and True ABH, nothing's changed here. This is probably my most used concealer of, for the past like five years. Then I take my Smash... This is, an, this is a new discovery for me. I take this Becca Shimmering Eye Perfector and Okay, first of all, I thought Becca went under. Then I found out that they just got acquired by Smashbox, so they didn't actually go under it, they are just under Smashbox now, which makes a lot of sense because I keep seeing the highlighters around. But anyways, I like to apply a little bit of that under my eyes. It's just a nice little base. I could definitely just wear it out on its own, but I like to add more coverage some days. If I'm just like doing casual errands, I will definitely just use the under eye perfector on its own but you know sometimes we do be glamming next i'm taking this charlotte tilbury liquid blush i know this has been all the rage i know it's been sold out for forever and that's because madison beer talked about it so fair enough but i'm taking it and just applying it on my cheekbones i like to apply it across my face just to kind of make my skin look more natural i'm not really into heavy contour anymore um the way that i used to be but i do still like some definition this is the becca shimmering skin perfection this is the opal one i really like it i like the gold in it it matches my skin tone probably the best out of all of them so i really enjoy it i like to set my foundation with it while it's still kind of wet not like set it across my entire face but you know just set the high points while my foundation is wet because then it kind of makes a pop and then I set the rest of my face with just clear translucent powder, for which I'm using this Press One by NARS. I do still gravitate on my day-to-day -day basis to loose translucent powder, so it's not necessarily like my everyday product. But when I want a lighter feeling base, I will stick with the pressed one instead, just because it feels, you know, not as heavy, it's not as drying. I've been enjoying this Fenty Bomb Triple Drip. It's basically a trio of baked highlighters from Fenty, and I like to use them on my eyes. I don't really care for them on my face. Sometimes I'll use the middle one, but it's a little too chunky glittery for me, but I enjoy the, the chunky glitter on my eye more than I do on my face. For my face, I like to kind of go for shimmer, not glitter, you know? I mean, time and place, but... So I just pat it on my eyes. For my day-to-day, -day, I don't really do too much eyeshadow stuff, but I will, you know, apply like a tone over my eyes if I'm feeling fancy. This is my most used brow pencil of the past year, I would say. This is my Gimme Brow by Benefit. I like the lighter shade. I find that they are very creamy, very dark, so you kind of need to go lighter than darker or even lighter than your shade normally because they will show up a little bit too intense so i like to use a 3.5 or 4.5 as opposed to like normally i would probably use like a six i wouldn't say this is an everyday step this is an everyday step the full out brow gel that's for every day but the brow pencil sometimes you know more times than not but not every day the full out brow gel is my life though i love this product so much it's so fibery and it just I think the Charlotte Tilbury fiber brow product, but like on crack, and then you get this. 
I've been really into tight lining my eyes and I'm using this deep kind of red brown shade by Bare Minerals but I use black as well, I use gray, I use blue, I just love tight lining my eyes lately. Don't know why, it's just been my thing. Applying some mascara, this one is my Kill Lash by Cleo. I have used this pore mascara through and through, there's almost none left, but it's a really good everyday mascara if you like volume. Fake lashes haven't really been a part of my day-to-day. -day. I just don't have the patience or the time or the desire, but if I'm going out, I'll pop on some individual lashes. My everyday lip liner currently. I know this is like a big deal because stripped down was my everyday for so long, but Wherever Walnut by Makeup Forever, their artist lip pencil, is the truth is my holy grail. Also the ABH hazelnut one is also my truth, but I keep losing them. I've gone through like five of them and I've lost them all. So right now this is my truth, but I do need to pick up more of those. And that is it for my everyday current faves. This changes all the time, so you already know, but that's it for now. I'll talk to you guys hopefully in less than six months. Love you, bye.